All right, welcome back to No Man's Sky. I've been hunting salvage data all night and now a beautiful sunrise. Also, by hitting up knowledge stones, I was able to comp complete the translator quest. And so now I'm supposed to go over to the trading post and talk to somebody. And uh, so I'll have to do that eventually. But um, yeah, sunrise. Uh, so now, uh, destination reached. Buried technology module. What do we get? Three! Hey, that's not bad. I'm continuing north. Alright, almost two hours in, and finally, check out what I just got. It's an S scanner module upgrade. This is huge. That was from that uh, broken, damaged, sparking machinery. Do I have any room in the multi-tool for this, and why am I still upgrading this multi-tool is the question. It's a good question. It's because reasons. I think what I'm going to have to do is... Oh yeah, I've got this crazy uh, plus 6% scan radius that can go. I'm still doing the silent ozone balancer. Uh, let's put this in. Let's see what we get. And we get 39% scan radius increase, plus 6,659 fauna, plus 6,602 flora. That'll make me some money when I visit a planet that I haven't scanned everything on yet. Alright, so as I'm heading north, uh, I just noticed this. I just discovered an unknown grave. I think I've already gotten an unknown grave in this system, so I don't know if this is going to give me another glyph or not. I'm going to tag it. I'm going to look at the catalog of portal glyphs. I have three. So if that one gives me a fourth, then it's something. All right. Let's see if this is new or different. I asked questions that no one asked. It was simple. The sentinels, gzz, what are the scent? Gzz, do they come for? Gzz, made it my life's work to find. Gzz, left logs, records across worlds. Fallen Traveler's grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. Extract it. I obtain a glyph, and with it the ability to travel to unknown worlds. I leave the Fallen Traveler in peace. Four of sixteen. It's the dinosaur. It gave me a new one. It's too bad it's night, but... um. I've run into multiple vistas like this where I'm on the edge of a mountain and it's night fortunately the scanner hardly picks up anything from this distance but I can see the broken machinery whatever machinery right there see it sparking so I know there's gonna be one down there so I uh, I launch off and looking down watch the jetpack regions uh, Don's great reaches Easy, 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 easy. Ta-da! I'm sorry. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's worth the price of admission right there. Probably just nanites. Most of them have just been nanites. Couple rocket fuels, which I'm deleting because I can't be bothered. I only have one more animal to scan. I just found it. There he is right there. This big guy. There he is. Got it. 219,000. He's rare. Ground animal. And I believe if I look at my discoveries, Fauna, 5 of 5 discovered. How about that? Upload and receive 250 nanites. I didn't see the nanites. But I've uploaded. I'm a naturalist. Discovered all species on one planet. Excellent. How about that? Unknown building. It's a relic, I think. I convulse as I reach out and touch the beautiful stone marker, my mind filling with a deadly knowledge of the true history of the Gek. We are the masters of galaxies, the overlords of the cosmos. Each foe will submit with bended knee to the almighty Gek Dominion. We are the first spawn. Look upon our works in despair. Wow. Seek help with the language. My knowledge of the Gek increases. 
I learned the word for do. But you're getting a little hint about the Gex there. Um, that uh, maybe at least they weren't as nice as they appear now. All right, so inventory almost full again. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the transfer thing. Uh, wrong key. Well, okay, I'm going to put this here. I've been doing this. I've been putting down the save beacon, saving, and then immediately picking it up and carrying it with me to make sure I save from time to time. Uh, what I wanted to do here was quick menu, summon vehicles, and the roamer. There it is. And then simply transfer inventory. And let's transfer this stuff to the roamer, transfer to the roamer, transfer these extra bullets to the roamer, roamer, roamer. So if we look at the hall, uh, look at all the salvage data. Uh, look at all the salvage data. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how many nanites I get from that and whether I want to do that or not. And also 24 more navigation data. Come on, stub. Let's get out of here. Now, I have been wandering for hours. I'm probably five minutes away from the base, Tops. Five seconds, maybe, away from the base. Alright, let's go. Uh, where is my base? It's going to be somewhere to the south. There it is. How far is it away? One minute. Well, that's pretty impressive. I traveled for a minute. Let's go up so we can go faster. And let's go back down. There we go. And like I said, I've been coming in pretty fast. It's not where I got it. There we go. And let's summon the roamer somewhere close where I can get to it. Not that. There we go. Okay. Now I can save with this. Excellent. All right. So let's see here. Oh, I was still doing gold into pyrite and I left the gold here. Put that back in the exosuit. Um, let's grab, let's see, from the roamer, which now this looks like a roamer. Uh, 15. That turns into, wait a minute. 15 salvage data turns into 225 nanites. Alrighty then. That's pretty impressive. It's 1 to, one to 15. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy to be a part of this plan. 225. And... What I should do is just let this add up. Instead of taking it out. So I can see about how much I get. Alright, there's 1,980 nanites. And I'm going to keep a 30 salvage data. Thank you very much. So now I have a total of 3,927 nanites. That is a number of S upgrades, uh, which is huge. And I do have one salvage data here. So uh, let me save. Happy. And then uh, let's see what I can buy quickly from this guy before I go up to the space station. Uh, buildable technology, uh, just core. What's this? This is a hazard protection unit. Actually, I would like the health unit. The health station for five. I think this makes a lot of sense. I do have some missions to turn in. Um, as I've been uh, messing around, we've, I've got a, a bunch of them done. Uh, let's hand them in. Uh, I was able to capture that picture of an observatory, so that's some units and a Viking standing. Viking standing, of course, is what I'm after, not the units. And I killed eight sentinels at some point. That's 171 nanites and a mercenary standing. So basically, I got the eight, the eight, and the eight here. All done. And uh, that must have been uh, during that last uh, battle. And I just forgot that I needed to turn these in. That's, uh, that's a number of nanites as well. And more importantly, mercenary standing, uh, which should help me get some quests. So that's plus three with the mercenary guild. And now, let's browse these missions. 
Uh, nope. Uh, I need eight. Assault a freighter. Well, that's not good. There's units, though. 241. Long lost findings. Unearth an ancient artifact. 241 nanites. That's the explorer's guild. Tourist trap. Hunt dangerous pirates. Enrich carbon. Uh, sparkling duel. Hunt low level pirates for 94. Someday. Hunt low level pirates for comet droplets. Uh, kill 15 creatures in progress. 164. Potential yield. Scan three minerals for 8,000 units. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'll scan minerals for extra units. What the heck? All right, that's all I can get out of you. I don't need any ship. The next thing I'm looking for, and I always look at that. Oh, that's the big gun, but it's going to be a C, isn't it? It's always a C. It's always a C. Yep. Nope. Forget it. Uh, and I check with you for upgrades. Do you have any interesting upgrades? I'm looking for S anything. You have an S pulse spitter. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This could be the start of something big. The Pulse Spitter was one of the ones, one of the weapons that I was going to switch to. Was it not? Weapons to the Handmade Lamsky Balancer. And then let me hit tab and see on this multi-tool, this didn't have a Pulse Spitter, so I'd have to make it. Yes. For 578 and I have 4,436. Thank you very much. Okay. We must be cautious though. We can't just buy every S upgrade we see. I'm totally going to buy every S upgrade I see. Well, we might as well go to Nagansk and see what they have. Uh, weak mi oh, Gra, weak minded interloper. Your equipment undis. I'm going to say disgusts, maybe? Oh, that's right. And you disgust me because for a tier 3 system, you have absolutely no S upgrades whatsoever. And it's it's a travesty. How about you? Uh, purchase upgrade modules. I'm going to get your S movement module. And I think I'm going to pass on the shield for now. I don't think I need it at this point. So another S movement. Thank you. This was 109.19. And watch me regret this. Now, I could have seen what it was before I did that. This is 241 sprint distance. Plus 43 sprint recovery time. No regrets whatsoever. Wow. Okay. So I still have... So now I have an A, an S, and a B. I can still replace these two at some point. But I want to concentrate on the on the uh, gun because I need to start upgrading the gun. I'm porting system to system. This guy has a good set of upgrades to build out a new weapon. He's got another S upgrade for the sp pulse spitter, scatter blaster. I think I'm done with S upgrade for the bolt caster. I think is a good one. Um, no S upgrades for scanner, which I really want. But again. Uh, I could have the one weapon be for scanning and the other be for combat. So let's go ahead and get the, I've got 3322 left. Let's get the pulse spitter module, the S upgrade for that. Let's get the S upgrade for the scatter, uh, sorry, for the bolt caster. Dang, I really should have more inventory. I need to do that. Uh, okay, I have two slots now though. So where'd you go? There you are. Give me your nanites and I will junk your Moxcura to analyze your pathetic equipment. Or ananize. Or something. So we got the pulse spitter module. Scatter blaster we're avoiding. These two. The blaze javelin uh, I wanted to try out. And the bolt caster I wanted to try out. Uh, I'm running low. So let's let's skip the blaze. The, the thing is... The Lamsky gun already has the blaze javelin installed. So I think I'm going to do this and avoid the bolt caster for now. Let's go ahead and get the upgrade for the blaze javelin. And that's it for this one for that. And let's see, purchase upgrade modules. You have S life support, S movement. Ooh, yeah. 
So I could potentially complete the movement modules with this, right? No, I still have an A and a B. This would replace the B. 565, I'm running low. I'm running low. I'm, I want to concentrate on the weapon. I can always get more uh, techno buried technology modules. It was easy. Movement, here we go. All right. There we go. I got a movement. This B is... Ha only has 10% sprint distance and 20% jetpack tanks. It had the sprint recovery time, but it's gone. Uh, dismantle is going to give me 50 chromatic... Okay, it was the dismantling of this that gave me. 50 chromatic metal, 50 condensed carbon. Uh, I hate to tell you, but I don't have the inventory space for that. Alright, my inventory is full, but um, disassembling this will give me 50 chromatic metal and 50 condensed carbon. Shouldn't be a problem, because I already have stacks of that. Good. So now let's install this new S movement module. Here we go. No whammies, please. Technology. There it is. What does it give me? Jetpacks 204, fuel efficiency 15, initial boost 7, sprint recovery time 31, but no sprint distance. I think that's okay. Sprint recovery time is so fast. Jetpack tanks 204%. That's awesome. All right, now only the A needs to be replaced. And really... With that sprint distance, this is a very good A module. I may not, I may not touch it. Uh, right, and now we have these, which means on the multi-tool, on the new Lamsky, uh, first I want to build a pulse spitter. And what do I need for that? Install new technology. That's the pulse spitter. I need uh, deuterium, which you can get on a cold planet, I believe. And I could be wrong about that. Uh, no dioxide you get on the cold. Deuterium, I think I have to... Uh, catalog. Uh, raw materials. Uh, we're looking for deuterium. It is dihydrogen and tritium in refiners. I'm going to need a medium refiner. All right. Well, it's time. Uh, let's go to tech. And let's go to... What is it? Is it under general? I think it is. And a medium refiner requires... Magnetized ferrite and 5-dihydrogen jelly. Uh, certainly I have this. And 2, 3, 4, 5. I can't make 5. I should have been collecting the blue things. Uh, oh, it's this gun. Check out the size of this gun. The Lamsky. Alright, let's get some of this. Let's build it. There. Yeah, I'm going to put it in the back corner here. Here we go. And what does it need? Does it need power? Uh, it doesn't need power at all. What's the magic? Input. Um. Um. Some tritium. That gives me dihydrogen. And then if I also input dihydrogen. I get deuterium. De deuterium. I can make 52 of it. And I need a light. And to install this thing, I need 200. All right, just like that, I mined a bunch. And so now I can put, uh, let's put this, I guess I gotta put it back. Let's grab the dihydrogen. I have 305, which means I can make 305 deuterium. I don't need that much, but I'm going to make it. Oh, it's got a nice... It's got a nice big home to it. I missed. <laughs> Alright, I got 205 of it. Good. This goes back to the starship. This goes back to the exosuit. It's all good. Now, I can... Uh, we'll hit E here. We'll do the pulse spitter. And we've got the deuterium. We've got the wiring loom. There it is. Pulse spitter. Uh, this geology cannon I want to move down here. The plasma launcher I want to move down here. Uh, I'm not going to be upgrading the scanner that much on this one though. So uh, I may not need that. Anyway, now let's go to the exosuit and let's install. I've got the two pulse spitter upgrade modules. And so here is, it's called a positron battery, but it's for the right thing. There we go. What is this? Uh, clip size plus 12, reload time minus 6, fire rate plus 12, ricochet mode enabled. Good. 
Okay, I don't, I'm not a big fan of ricochet mode, but whatever. Uh, here's another one. And we'll put this one right here. And here we have clip size plus 12, ricochet mode enabled, damage plus 6, reload time minus 9. That's good, I suppose. And then we have one up, upgrade for the blaze javelin. And that's going to go right here for now. And that is damage plus 4, time to full power minus 12. Ah, uh, okay. Um, and actually, why don't we do this? Um, let me move this over here. Move this over here, move this over here, move this over here, move this over here, so that I can get the adjacency bonuses, I believe, is what the cool kids call it. And then, uh, yeah, what do we got? Uh, we got the miner, we got the plasma launcher. No, 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 sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Blaze javelin. This is that weapon that takes a while to charge up. See, like that? See how I see it charging? So, it could be good. I could try to kill something. But, uh, it could not be good. Train manipulator. Here's the pulse spitter. Yeah. Oh, it's ricocheting. Ricochet might be bad. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, there was a sentinel around here before. I need to try these things out on a sentinel and see how it goes. Reload. Nothing personal, but... I want to see how this works from a distance. I might be impressed. Reinforcements arriving in a little bit. Alright, fine. My base, my home planet is not exactly the place I want to fight, but what the heck. Let me get, let me get in a higher position so I can see this guy. Where are they? There's two. Isn't that little dog gonna show up? Yeah, reload. Come on. Bam! Reload. Ah, uh, they're not even scratching. Bam! Give me my shields back. Reload. Okay, obviously I need more upgrades. Still! Reinforcements arriving. Ah, uh, here's the elite guy. Alright, get the reload. Where are they? Where are they? Here's these two. I'm just gonna stand here. Because I'm not hardly taking any damage. I'm just standing here. Reload, come on. I'm chasing. There. Where's the dog? Oh, there he is. He's stuck. That's a shame. I'm gonna back off a little bit. Reload. Oh. Wow. All right. All right, we're not going to deal with the reinforcements. That's a big guy. Suppression level severe. Mm. I ran right into my ship. Yeah, we're going in. We're going in. Just going to hang out in here. That's what the that's what a good base can do. <laughs> Did you kick? You kicked my car. He kicked my car. He's circling me. This is horrible clipping. Oh. Okay. It's even a bad gun. You know, honestly. Uh, let me. Let me. Um. Just don't hit the bad plant. Now he's getting me. Go. Go. Run perpendicular.
Don't jump out of it, the little guys. Okay, fine. Oh, it's the grenade. Shield's hurting. Alright, let's get out of here. Dang. I gotta get the knees, right? Get the knees. Reload. I'm reloading. Get the knees. Yeah, he hurts. Can I, can I get in close? Reload. Of course I have to reload. Run, dude. Run. There, there's the knees. There's one. There's the other one. Oh, to critical damage. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Just get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Let them look for you for a little bit. So as far as I know, there's no way to uh, to to recharge it. There they go. Wait for it. 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 I lost two health. I've got five left. There we go. Of course you're gonna reload. I got a lot of jetpack left. I wish I could avoid that beam. Where's the plating? Where's the plating? Why can't I hit the plating? Oh, did his knees come back? Yeah, I don't I don't understand what I'm what I'm trying to hit here. All right, we're done. We're done. We're done. Run, dude. Run. Zig and zag. Zig and zag. I got tools for this. Don't panic. Don't panic. I got tools for this. Switch weapon. Switch weapon now. Now switch weapon. There we go. Where is he? Hit him. That'll do it. Come on, stub. Turn it around. Turn it around. Where is he? He's down. Whew. Uh, yeah, just land. You can land. Right, the old... Uh, somebody said that in the comments. Just get in the ship and shoot him. <laughs> So the gun could use a few more upgrades, um, and somehow I screwed up the, uh, oh, you guys are still upset. You know, oh, there's another one. Alright, well, I tell you what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hang out. We're just gonna hang out while you're searching. And this guy's probably gonna walk around inside my base. It's alright. 30 seconds till done. They're looking, but they can't find me. One of them's in here. Still can't find me. I'm surprised they came in. But it's okay. I'm I'm making like a wall. He hit me. Look, he's hitting me. He's moving me. He's still moving me. He's trying to push me outside. Sentinel force deactivated. Hey. And we will save. <laughs> Alright, that was horrible. That was really horrible. I mean I got him in the end, but still. All right, that's going to be it for now. Uh, maybe one of these episodes I'll continue that uh, Artemis quest, but uh, I've been distracted too many times. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.